How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. This vlog is going to be basically about some helpful tips posting to YouTube for the first time and just want to know what are you getting into? I've been posting to YouTube for a very long time, a few years and actually it's been a long, a lot longer than that. But vlogs, it's been the last three years. Yeah, so these are some tips that I learned uh, going to this workshop, this YouTube workshop that was hosted by Sean Kennel and Benji Travis, just listening to them and just writing it down. And I just wanted to make a video so I can share that with you. Get the camera and I'll show you around. So the first tip is bravery, courage, the strength, just knowing that you can post. Everyone can do it. Just know that pretty much everybody that posts these videos have a little bit of like fear, like, what am I doing? What will people think of me? Just remember like the, that's the way to start. That everybody starts like that. Just do it. You can do it, film something, edit it, watch it. The way I do it is like, I'll watch it a few times and I'll cut it to the point that I'm happy with it. I like things really quick because I have a short attention span. So I think like as long as you're happy with it, be yourself and if they see that through the video, they're gonna wanna subscribe to you. So just be yourself, don't be anyone else. And honestly, when the more you do it, the easier it gets, the more confident you are with this. It does get easier. You're still talking to yourself <laughs> a lot. So another tip, that was tip number one. Tip number two is create locally. So create, like just know that the city that you live in is good enough. I know a lot of people think, oh, I need to be in LA. I thought that too. You know, like I can't shoot here. And the truth is there's lots of YouTube channels that started that are not in LA. And they're, they've achieved great success. It's about how you make that content. So the city you're in is good. It's fine. Trust me, it's fine. Uh, PewDiePie is from Sweden. Dude Perfect is from uh, Texas. Um, pretty sure Ninja is from, ow. Ninja is from uh, somewhere in Illinois. Honestly, it doesn't matter where you are. Uh, so tip number three is it's an elevator pitch. Can you tell somebody in one or two sentences what your channel's about? So you're in an elevator. Bing! Hello. Nice to meet you. I don't know what I'm talking about, but I heard you have a YouTube channel. I do. What is it about? It's about blah, 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 blah. But you know what I mean. We make videos on YouTube to help people feel more confident or like uh, providing parents with the tools they need to succeed. And I rhymed. I mean, honestly, it is it is really hard to think of it. It's really hard to come up with something. Uh, those were like really loose, but it's very hard to come up with something, but it is worth it because a clear path is gonna help you figure out everything else that goes with it. Like the, okay, so the problem I have is the fact that I have a hard time doing my elevator pitch because my channel is all over the place. It's a vlog, right? So like there's some days that I'm doing behind the scenes pranks. Sometimes I'm shooting day to day activities and sometimes I'm shooting videos like this. So I have no idea what my elevator pitch. It's like, ding, hey, what's your video about? I have no idea. Do you like everything? I don't, like what am I supposed to say? There are still lots of people that are having a hard time figuring out what your elevator pitch is. I'm one of them. I would love to hear what you guys think my elevator pitch could be. So write it in the comments below. Don't worry. It's just, let's do baby steps here. Like one step at a time. Okay, so tip number four is, damn, you look profesh. So professional looking online. So what does that mean? So basically, does your YouTube channel look spick and span? Does it look polished? Does, have you done everything that you could to make sure that when people go on that channel, it's like, nice, looks good, yeah. I don't know, you know what I mean? Like, did you do logo? Did you do profile picture, banner? You know, did you take those pictures? Does it all look good? Uh, there's tons of people that know how to use Photoshop. You know, I've, I've seen people on Facebook ask other people, hey, can you do this for me? Can you cut this out? Can you do this? Da, da. So I think it's like, there's resources out there. If you need help, reach out. Facebook groups, Reddit groups, subreddits. Um, there's maybe on Twitter. Some people have reached out to me on Twitter asking me to help them develop a banner. So it's there, just look out for it. You need to have all the platforms looking alike. I see this all the time. I see like somebody on Facebook, they have their Facebook page of their YouTube channel 
and their profile pic or, or, or their banner is like, you know, I don't know, like a donkey or something. And then like you go on YouTube, their profile picture is stars and you're like, but like, it has to it has to be cohesive like branding across all platforms so if you have a twitter account go into your twitter go into your instagram go into facebook and go into youtube all those four platforms and then obviously the other ones as well make sure they all match as close as possible it could be slightly different because obviously like those are all different platforms but try to match the colors try to make it somewhat match you know what i mean like as long as they, they someone logs in and sees it and it's like oh okay it's the same person it's the same channel it's like there's a common denominator or something download vidIQ or there is the other one called uh, TubeBuddy and those things will help you grow your channel and nobody can see it but it'll give you all the stats on the side and you can do lots of things and and it's free obviously you can pay monthly and you get more features but the nice thing is is it is free i downloaded it right away uh, it helped me a lot and I'm, I'm not sponsored doing this but it's just honestly it's a tool that i read somewhere and I downloaded it right away and I was like, wow, I need to, like, obviously people need to know about it. I, lots of people use this. If you are starting a YouTube channel, you don't know. Plus the great thing is like with vidIQ or TubeBuddy, TubeBuddy, you can see the tags that other people are using. So like the hashtags, are you hashtagging your video? You know, what is this person doing? Sometimes it, it could help like copying those hashtags, but at least you get an idea what they're hashtagging. So they kind of like, those hashtags can make the video go very far. I like you. I want to help you build trust. Okay, so this is tip number five. I, I, I don't care what you film, but please make it watchable. That's the biggest thing I see on YouTube all the time. You always watch these things and it's like, edit the video the way you want to watch. If you can't sit through it, pretty sure everyone else can't sit through it. You know what I mean? Especially because it's your life. So yeah, if I'm standing like, here and I'm talking to somebody else for 12 minutes. Is that exciting? Is it? Okay, so there's also this theory and this theory goes like this. They say, if you had a thousand loyal fans, now loyal fans being like, I love uh, the band The Used and I, and I feel like I am a pretty loyal fan. Meaning if they come out with a CD, they come out with a new music video, um, if they play like in Seattle or Vancouver, or I would drive a large amount of distance to go see them if they're playing a show. The idea is is that if you have a thousand of those loyal fans, so instead of thinking, oh, I need to get to a million subscribers, think of it like if I can get to a thousand loyal fans and they all are willing to buy merch or buy um, CDs or whatever you're doing on YouTube, then you can build an income. I guess the reason why this is part of the whole thing of the workshop that I went to is because uh, Sean is really into like making a profitable like channel, you know, making money on YouTube. So that's why I guess they added that in. I think everyone kind of wants to make money on YouTube. It's kind of ridiculous. I think it's important to know that like you go into this knowing that it's a hobby and you love it, first of all, because if you don't love it, then you're gonna like fall flat on your face. It's like exhausting and you won't be able to like, I mean, don't forget, so YouTube is a search engine, right? It's it's a literally a search engine. So what, this is something that I've been struggling with too. So what are people searching for? That'll help you create those topics that you wanna make. I mean, I wouldn't drive your videos based on that because obviously you never know what people are going to be searching it's like a, sometimes it's a fluke just knowing that it's a search engine you know people are going to be looking for something so i know at some point someone's going to be looking like how do i start a youtube channel like what do i need to know like this video maybe might do well depending on how i create this title but yeah so just think search engine <laughs> maybe if you if you find that niche uh, some people say that you can build that and then from that niche you can branch over to you know creating vlogs I'm pretty sure like Philip DeFranco did that YouTube is a community right everyone says that YouTube is a community it's like a room filled with awkward creators shaking hands <laughs> I don't know. it's a two-way street so when you're watching people's videos 
they're gonna watch your videos. The more time you put in, the more time people will put into yours. Really important to know that you need to be genuine when you do this. When you watch a video, put a real comment down. Don't say haha, like great. <laughs> Put some time into it. Like watch the video. Like these are real people. The person, like you, are making a video. I'll be watching it. I want to know that if I leave a comment that you see it and actually like appreciate it and write back to me. Like you know, do you understand what I'm saying? People are running these channels. When you comment, comment like you were going to actually talk to somebody. Like comment like truthfully. It's like, oh, uh, you know, we'll comment will be like, oh, that, that was a great video. I really love how your cat uh, plays the piano. I used to have a cat too, and she played the guitar. I don't know. Put some effort into it. Tip number six, be consistent. Everyone says this. Oh, be consistent. How do you be consistent? Well, for me, being consistent is posting once a week. That's the most I could. Right now, my schedule is so jam-packed I can't even, I can't fit another day right now into the week, but it's consistent. Every Saturday, you can rest assured there's gonna be a video right at 8 a.m. or 8 a.m. Eastern time. No, what is it? 8 a.m. 8 a.m. Pacific time, 11 Eastern. Oh God, why was that so hard? 52 weeks in a year, that's 52 videos a year and the algorithm to YouTube always is changing. It's constantly evolving. As long as you're posting, at least you're covering your side of things, right? So your video is being posted, people are watching it and people can keep coming back to your channel knowing that you're gonna be posting a video once a week or twice a week or three times a week if you're really daring, I don't know. Maybe you're doing a daily vlog, I don't know. Set it up that you know you won't fail. I knew that there's sometimes during the week that I could do two or three videos, but I, but at the same time, I don't, you know, later on in the year, I might not be able to pull that off. I don't want to set myself up to fail right from the beginning. So my, so I have a friend of mine that actually does a great video talking about starting a YouTube channel and some, he's got his own tips. So it's right here. Uh, just click there after this video and you can check out Jordan's video. Yo. Do you ever hear the saying, the best camera is the one you have with you? There's lots of channels that I've been following in the past few years. Maybe you would like to, and you can maybe uh, feed off their energy and figure out what you want to do for your channel. And I'll put all those links. Surprise vlog day in the description below if I get around to it. Don't forget this is a marathon. This is not a sprint. The longer you can sustain yourself, keeping a pace, the longer you can last, the longer you can create a long lasting YouTube career. People that right out of the gate, you know, oh, I'm gonna like create every day or three times a week and like sometimes they just run out of steam and I don't want you to run out of steam. So that's why I'm giving a heads up. Like just know it's a really long marathon. So just pace yourself. One video, make it perfect, edit it, a bunch of times make sure that everything's perfect because then that video lasts like forever a lot of people like rehearse let's say this video right let's say this video <laughs> was done differently where i like had the script that i wanted to talk about like memorized it or i rehearsed it like a full day of rehearsal then the next day shooting the third day you know editing it or something you know what i mean like some people like spend a lot of time making sure the video is perfect there's some people out there that are doing that to their video so just remember that when you're trying to edit your video there's no i'm not doing this for pressure i'm not trying to pressure you but i'm just telling you that there's some people out there that really take a lot of time into making these videos there's also that other solution where if you know you're gonna miss a day, maybe make two videos, you know? Make two videos when you have the time so you can have that one video to just save yourself on that one day that you were supposed to post but you couldn't, something happens, we need the break. But like maybe if it's like the week before you know it's someone's birthday, maybe you're not gonna be there, maybe it's your birthday. And I think I'm just gonna end this off by saying like, get the conversation going in your video. Ask questions, get people to answer them in the comments. I just find that like, when the conversation started, if there's a question, people are more likely to comment when they know you've asked something. I, I really wanna know about the elevator pitch. What do you think my elevator pitch could be? What are my channel, what's my channel about? I have no idea. 
Anyways, I hope this helped. Um, if you are starting a new YouTube channel, write your channel below. I'd love to check it out. I want to subscribe to it. I look forward to meeting new creators and I hope, I don't know, I hope this video really helped. You guys keep our vlog life alive. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you guys next week for another vlog.